Hello and welcome to another Blender know-how tutorial and in this video we're going to be going back to some of the basics of Python and how to begin manipulating things in edit mode or how to even interact with edit mode as everything we've or I think everything that we've talked about before has been in object mode this is a good maybe opportunity to maybe subdivide within the edit mode uh, as you would normally do, let me open up a new Blender window. As you would normally do this, like in the viewport, you would just create a plane or something. It doesn't really have to be a plane. You go into edit mode and you would right click and subdivide. And you can increase it here. How would you do this within scripting? That's what we're going to be doing. So go ahead and open up a new window and click new up here and I'm going to turn on both those and make it a little bit bigger for you to be able to see. Sweet. So I uh, gener like generally in most of my videos if you haven't seen them before I start out with these. Uh, honestly these may not be the best way to um, get around like to start a fresh project every time but when I run the script I want it to be able to delete everything and then put what we have in it so we can just keep running it and we don't have errors. There's other ways to do that. Um, this is just one way to be able to do that. So I'm going to do bpy.ops.object.select all. While I'm typing this in, if you haven't seen some of my other Blender Python tutorials, you should probably go check them out. Uh, it'll explain what I'm doing right now and it will make a little bit more sense. Okay, sweet. So now that we have that, every time we run the script, it will just delete everything and then whatever we place here will be added. Um, let's do let's add a plane. I think this is we're going to do what I just showed you in but in scripting in Python now. So let's do bpy.ops.mesh.primitive uh plane Add. I do believe that's correct. Let's just run the script. Yeah, so now we have a script. Uh, and the reason why we put this stuff, if you haven't watched it, is you just run script. And it will delete the things and add this. So now we only have one object here. Sweet. Okay, now this is the main reason for the tutorial, and it's all in this one line. Uh, it's going to be bpy.ops.object.edit.mode toggle. So generally, when you're in, when your mouse is over here, you can just tab. Essentially, that's what this is doing. Uh, you can now edit things like you would in edit mode. So, for instance, you could E to extrude up. You can subdivide any of these things. These are all things that you can now do. Without this, uh, without that, you would not be able to do any of those things. Blender would it would throw errors just because it's not possible. You can't edit unless you're in edit mode. Uh, also, something else to know is, for instance, we run the script once. If we run it again, we're going to get errors. Why do we get that? Well, the problem with it is, is these are functions or we're calling things that can only be called while in object mode and we're in edit mode now. So to fix that all we gotta do here is take this and because this toggles it we can run it and it may not seem like we did anything because we ended up in object mode again but anything we put in here will now be able to be done in edit mode. So for example, uh, let's just try this one, bpy.ops.mesh.subdivide. Uh, let's, let's just do that one and we'll see what happens. So we run it and now in here you can see that it's subdivided. Uh, just for fun, I think we can do number uh, cuts and we can just type in 10 or something. And make sure you're in object mode to begin with or else the, the this won't run. So we run it and we go in here and it has been cut. It's been subdivided with a number of cuts of 10. 
Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you've enjoyed it, and stay tuned for more. Bye-bye.